Is Ho-Oh the most powerful legendary Pokemon? Hey, this is Gatorex, and previously I've talked about the abilities and lore of potential Pokemon gods. In my Ultimate Arceus video, I came to a conclusion that legendary Pokemon basically form a pantheon of multiple gods. Today I'll be talking about Ho-Oh, and if you'd like to see more videos covering different legendary Pokemon, let me know. But anyway, let's talk about Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh was one of the first powerful legendary Pokemon introduced, and was one of the first box legendaries alongside Lugia. From the very first episode of the anime, Ho-Oh was built up as some kind of ultimate legendary, at least to the Kanto and neighboring Johto region. It is based off of the Fenghang, which is a mythical bird of Chinese mythology, and it was represented of purity and virtue, similar to how Ho-Oh appears only to trainers who are pure of heart. It also takes inspiration from the Greek Phoenix, which leads into Ho-Oh's abilities. In in Necrotique City, we're told a story in which the Brass Tower burns down, killing three Pokémon trapped inside. Ho-Oh then comes and brings these Pokémon back to life, transforming them into Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. Whether these Pokémon were originally Eeveelutions or any other nameless Pokémon, it's clear that when Ho-Oh revived these Pokémon, it transformed them completely into new, never-before-seen powerful Pokémon of their own. So Ho-Oh not only has the ability to bring beings back to life, but to reimagine them however it sees fit. There are few other legendary Pokémon that have created other Pokémon themselves, and Ho-Oh being one of them gives it a pretty high place among legendary Pokémon. Contributing to Ho-Oh's reviving ability, the item Sacred Ash, which is basically Ho-Oh's byproduct, is able to fully restore the HP of every fainted Pokémon in your party, so that has the power of up to 5 max revives. Ho-Oh's stats are nowhere near previous Pokémon gods we've covered before, but access to the almost exclusive move Sacred Fire, which has a 50% chance of burning the target it, it's at least got something to deal with enemies. And the move itself is representative of Ho-Oh's purity in the form of fire. When it comes down to it, Ho-Oh isn't the most physically powerful Pokemon god in terms of strength, but its unique ability to bring Pokemon back to life and create new Pokemon while representing purity makes it one of the most important ones. Ho-Oh definitely seems to take more of a passive role, as Entei, Suicune, and Raikou are something like servants to it, and the way that its abilities work seem to be more supportive rather than aggressive. In the Pokemon Pantheon, Ho-Oh takes the role of the God of Revival, and that makes it one of my personal favorites. But let me know what you think. How does Ho-Oh compare to other legendary Pokemon, and which one should I talk about next? Leave a comment below, and we'll continue the discussion down there. If you enjoyed the content, remember to leave a like and subscribe to show your support. You can enable notifications by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will make sure you see each new video as it comes out, and will make you a member of the Chingling Squad. Anyway, this has been Gatorx. Have a nice day.